right guys, for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to melt aluminum at home. So this is what you need to melt aluminum at home. First you need one of these chimney things here that you use uh, to start up a barbecue pit, get the charcoal hot. You need some kind of steel container that's uh, fairly thick that um, won't disintegrate too bad as it gets super hot. This right here is an old steel fire extinguisher. I found those to be the best. And we have a local fire uh, extinguisher, I guess it's like a repair shop, and they chunk old fire extinguishers all the time. So look for that in your area if you need to find one of those. You need some charcoal, you need some lighter fluid, and you need a lighter so that you can light it up. And then the last thing you need to get the fire hot enough using charcoal is uh, forced air. You have to have air coming up through the bottom of it so that it works kind of similar to what propane delivers. And to do that, we take a hair dryer, we put it, connect it to a PVC pipe, and we put an elbow on the end here. As you can see, this one's getting a little charred after 30 some odd burns. And then that uh, pushes air up through the charcoal and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put charcoal on the bottom and you're gonna put your crucible on there and then you're gonna put charcoal all around your crucible and then you light it up. And that gets it hot enough so that you can melt some aluminum. Now that you know what you need, I'm gonna show you guys it in action. That should be enough on the bottom there. Now I'm gonna take some lighter fluid and throw that on the bottom here. Now I want to put my crucible on top of that, kind of make it as flat as you can get it on there. And now I'm going to shove some charcoal down around this thing. Now we're going to put a little bit of lighter fluid on those briquettes. <laughs> I guess not really a little bit, is it? <laughs> Then we're gonna fire it up and get those briquettes going. All right, got a nice fire going there. I like to let it start burning just a little bit and then in a couple of minutes, turn on your hairdryer and you should be able to see some molten aluminum. Uh, probably 15 minutes later. We still have smoke, which means there's still embers. Let's fire on the hairdryer. And look at that flame that popped up out of nowhere. It's amazing what a little bit of forced air can do. Let's put it on high. Had your aluminum chunks, already had some in there. And in a minute, I'll show you guys the molten aluminum that this can make. If y'all need any of the supplies for this project, I'll put links down to Amazon below uh, so that you guys can go and get them. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then y'all know what kind of molten aluminum videos are coming. Here, I'll put it, I'll put the Snapchat right there. Y'all watch it. Oh, we're making a, a late night run tonight. Oh uh, yeah, I just need a Big Mac and a large fry. It's gonna be a good one. One other thing, sometimes to keep some heat in, I'll take an old cast iron pan or something and put it on top of there to hold the heat in. Also gonna power up my FLIR 1 for uh, a little thermal image. After a while, bud, your molten aluminum is now melted. There it is. If you want to, you can shove some more in there if you have more, or you can do whatever you want to do with that. Now, one thing I need to tell you guys about is slag. Slag is the residue that's not aluminum that was on your aluminum before you melted it. So you want to take something like a crowbar or something and just kind of scoop it off and put it to the side. It's trash. All that slag right there. That's good. Let's pour some molten aluminum on things now. All right guys, I am done for the day pouring molten aluminum. Whew, that was a, a long day. I think I did about 
five or six videos, which was good. If you guys like these videos, make sure to click that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments below if you have another suggestion for me of what you want me to pour molten aluminum onto. And please share these videos with anybody you think that loves to play with fire or it just has a very curious nature. They're curious how things work or what thing kind of reactions would happen to things. Um, they would probably like these videos. So uh, that's what got me started with them. I was just, I was curious, like what would happen? I, I love uh, uh, burning things. Whenever I was younger, I used to have this vase. It was a cement vase. It was in our backyard and I would take a whole bunch of newspaper and I'd just light it on fire in that vase just for no reason. <laughs> a little bit of a pyromaniac, I guess. <laughs> all right guys, thank y'all for watching. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being shiggity shank. Wet sponge! A wet sponge! Wet sponge!